and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Julia and today I'm going to show you how to make some delicious, I think they are called bread boats or something like that. Um, but it's going to be some long tabata bread filled with some mushrooms, ham, cream, cheese, sour cream, cheese and other delicious stuff. So let's get started. What I use here is some tabata bread and I just cut the top off and then kind of took some of the bread inside out as well. Then I'm also going to use some mozzarella cheese, some sour cream, some cream cheese, and my cream cheese here there is um, bell pepper and some onion and some fresh herbs in. So please buy one with some flavors in just to make it a bit more delicious. Then I am also going to use some onions, some ham, some mushrooms, which I just cut in some smaller pieces, then some eggs, and I'm also going to use some salt, pepper, and some butter for frying. So into my eggs here, I'm just going to add in my sour cream. And my cream cheese. Pepper. And some salt. And in with my shredded mozzarella cheese. And in with my ham. And I'm just going to stir this here together until this here is well combined. And now I'm just going to add some butter to a pan and fry my mushrooms and onions in that until my vegetables are nice and soft. And after that I'm going to add them into my mix here and then mix again. So my filling is now completely done. Just remember that the mushrooms have quite a lot of water in them. So just remember to drain the onions and mushrooms before you add them in. And I just added them in right away so they were quite hot. So I just added a few of these spoons here in at a time and mixed in and just kept doing that until it was all in there. And now I'm ready to fill my two breads here. And after that, they are ready to be baked in the oven. And my oven is already at 160 degrees C convection oven. And if you don't have convection, then have it at 175 degrees C. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed just be here for my little bread boats. They are just delicious and they got around 20 minutes in my oven and then I just let them cool down for about 10 minutes. If you want to give them a go, all the ingredients are down below in my description. They are just so, so delicious. I just show you a bit up close here how the filling looks. Yeah, give them a go. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Bye!